All right, guys, so tonight we are going to do a resin pour on a 14-inch Lazy Susan. So we'll just start with the darkest color here. Move on to the medium color here. And I know it's kind of hard to tell the difference, but there is a difference in those two colors for sure. And then we've got this really fun kind of greenish blue that we'll add next. And then I'll just take a finger here, kind of tease this over. Now we have um, done the edges, the underside edges of this, we have used a petroleum jelly to coat. So as those drips come down, they will not be able to adhere to the underside the way they would be without that. I'm going to come through. I don't know, I think I'm going to add a little more of the, this is really just a personal preference, I guess, but I really like this color. Oops, I made a mess. I made, I got it, you got it? Made a mess. I usually make a mess, guys. We're just going to wipe that off and I get a new pair of gloves. I go through these gloves like nobody's business, y'all. That's not even funny. I need to get a wholesale glove account or something. <clears throat> and now we're going to do our clear. And then I'm going to take our, our paste, our white. Like I've said in the past, I like to use a spoon. I feel like it gives better control. And then we're going to make those waves. Now, one thing I'm already seeing here is, and this is a big thing, I tie my hair up, but if you could focus in on this, there's a little hair there. So we want to get that out of there. We don't want any imperfections. And then I'm going to come through with our little handy dandy creme brulee torch. And I'm going to get rid of those air bubbles. See, we got some nice cells going on there, right in there, really pretty. And that's it. Thanks for watching.